Hey everybody, what's up? Um, Eggnog Wizard here. Um, I'm in my firehouse at the moment, and today I'm just I um, I just thought I'd do a video, a quick video on how I spend my training points and I ha how I think you subscribers should do. Um, um, Galen, you have no input in this because I doubt your strategy sometimes. Um, no offense, but I do. Um, uh, well. This ma this video is mainly f uh, for my sister because she she doesn't always listen to me. I mean that's not always a bad thing. She's very independent and she's also very stubborn. And so she she, spe she spends them on stuff like Storm Shark. So I mean I, it's just it's just yeah GG um more like GL um. Uh, yeah, GL. Um, so I just thought I'd make one just to kind of explain to people what what is like what is a good strategy on how to spend them. Um, so when you start out spending them, um, if you've already spent them and you haven't spent them the way I explain, the first thing to do is is to go and go to Golem Court and go up to Mr. Lincoln and go buy them back because it's really worth buying them back and not just trying to like. You know, okay, you know, I messed up, I could just start now and not do it. No, you, you, you kind of need all the training points to do this. Um, and, um, and a lot of, some of these things are optional because, um, so you don't have to get them. And some of you might be the school, so you might get these spells for free. Um, but the way I would start out is you, you go and buy them back, and then, um, after you buy them back, um, you go to Crocotopia, and depending if you are Fire, Ice, or Storm, or Myth, Life, or Death, you get either Elemental Blade or Spirit Blade. It is essential you get that for you to just you you to excel during the game. After you go through that, if you have if you have the crowns to get it, I would go to the crown shop and buy the Life Mastery Amulet because otherwise, but if you're Life, you're you're good. You're good. You don't need to do that. All right. I mean, you're, you're in luck. Um, I'm in luck. Yeah, you are in luck. Um, I, for one, am not. Uh, I had to do all of this because, um, fire has no spells that can really be useful to all schools, so, except for, like, maybe fire elf or something, because it does overtime damage, but, see, uh, you see my point, though, it has, it has nothing. Um, oh, hello, Mr. Owl. Um, my owl just passed by. You should buy, you should really buy an owl mount, dude. I know I am. I'm also buying a tree. You know what? That's what I'll gift you. If I get, when when I if I when I get crowns, I'll gift you an owl mount. <gasps> Matt. Matt, I've got an owl heart owl mount. Yes. And you will be at my you will be at my service when that happens. Yes. Um, your owl your owl servant. Yeah, you're my owl servant. Um so after you go and get the life master amulet, or if you're life you don't need to. You go and train. You go and train the life school up to Seder, um, which is step one um, of a ten-step process. Um, some of these steps are optional, um, but not all of them are optional. Some of them you really need to do. Uh, like step one is to well, no. Step one is to buy elemental blade or or spirit blade, depending on what school. Step two is to train up to Seder in the life school. Step three, you go to the death stool. You go to the Death stool. Oh my god, I can't believe I just said that. Um, uh, you go to the death school and you train death up until faint. Yeah, exactly. Um, which is essential. I mean, if you're death, then you're in luck. Then you don't need to do that. But um, anyone who isn't, I really, really recommend going to do that. Um, number four might be a little weird, but um, what? Tower shield. Uh, no, I would not do that yet. Um, I would save your training points after that, and not really do anything, and then wait till you get to Celestia and train Amplify, because Amplify, no, hear me out, yes, you do get a damage spell, I'll, I'll accept life, um, you get, you do get a damage aura in Azteca, but you really need Amplify to get through Celestia, except for life, because they get another crappy healing aura. Thank you, King Zao. Yeah, you, <laughs> I know, um, uh, I remember um, in uh, one of King of Blobs videos, he was talking about that. Him and his friend were talking about that. Um, anyway, um, oh, we were just talking about like they should have made a life damage aura. Um, and then after you get Amplify, 
wait till you get to, um, well, actually, no. Uh, go to Celestia, and you, you train all the sun spells, well, not all the sun spells, but all the, like, the damage sun spells, not, not the accuracy and piercing, but the ones that just boost your damage. You train it up to a Gargantuan, and then after that, when you're in Safaria, you train Colossal, and it's, it's really essential that you do that. I think, Galen, right now you're at Gargantuan, you haven't gotten Colossal yet? I don't know, I'm, I'm at Monstrous. Oh, you haven't gotten Gargantuan yet? Nope, I need it. Ooh. Do some training point quests, dude. Go do the, like, No, I, I have it. I just don't have crowns to go back to Floating Land. Oh, okay, okay, I get it. Um, you do that, and, which would be step five. So, step one, let's go back. Uh, step one, uh, the, the triple blade that you need for your school. Step two, Seder. Step three, Faint. Step four, Amplify. Step five, Colossal. Step six is you go and you get your Astral Spells. Um, uh... Your astral spells will probably cost you around five training points. At the end, I'm probably going to sum up how many training points this will cost you in total. Um, and all of you will most likely be able to afford, well, not all these things, but the most important things like Seder, Faint, and um, other things like that. Um, um, you know what? Let's back up. You get, you get your Triple Blade, you get Seder, you get Faint, then you train Tower Shield. I think you're right, Galen. After you get faint, go and train Tower Shield. All right, go disperse. Train Tower Shield because it's really Sparks helpful. Because yeah, exactly. I didn't, and I had a lot of trouble in Celestia. Celestia. Oh, I'm fine. It's really well. Your life. You got heals. Um, True. Um, but um, it, it is confirmed. Celestia is harder than Safaria. And you can agree with me too, Galen. True. Yes. Zafaria was easy. I pretty much soloed the entire world. Celestia, I, I was begging people for help. I was like, help me. Especially the final dungeon. Oh, God. Oh, my God. The final dungeon of Celestia was... Like, it was a bit strong. Um, it yeah, is strong you today. Go, you elemental Blade, step one. I mean, like, you triple blade, step one. Step two, Seder. Step three, Faint. Step 4, Tower Shield. Step 5, Amplify. Step 6, Colossal. Step 7, Astral Spells. Step 8 is you get Shadow Magic. I'm sorry for you people who are just like, what? You know, what about Avalon and all that crap and you know, just other stuff that you might want to get? Don't do something like Train Storm or Myth or whatever. Something really bad. Just save for, um save for shadow magic it really is worth it um yeah you know what i regret not doing i regret putting my training points in uh myth i don't even need it well why didn't you buy it back that's too many crowns it's like, like 20,000 20,000 oh my gosh you should have bought it back earlier seriously yeah no um so then after that um after you get shadow magic which will be a while um after you get shadow magic you're pretty much um, done with all the super important stuff. Um, and then there's some optional things. Um, mend. If you plan on ever, like, having a, a, um, a, like, you, like, if, if you ever plan on having the option if you're in a group and you, someone would be like, okay, we need someone to be a healer and then a tank and then a hammer and something like that, you can say, oh, yeah, I'll be the healer. I would train, I would go to Safaria and train mend. If you go to Zamunda, there is a star training tome um, in like this little kind of secluded area. It's not that hard to find. Um, and you can train Berserk and Mend, uh, but don't train Berserk, all right? Berserk is not worth it. It, it, it really is not. Um, uh, you can train, um, unless you're ice. Berserk is only good if you're ice, um, but still, it's not worth training. Um, I would go and train Mend. It really is worth it. Um, after that, if you really, if you really have done like all the training point quests, like for me, I have five training points at the moment, uh, at the moment, and I'm waiting for to get uh, shadow magic. And I also have, um, let me try and find it. Um, I have, t I have one, two. I think it's just two. Yeah, I have two. Uh, I have two. S I have two quests to get training points, so in total I'll have seven. So that's, um, 
That's um that's plus shadow magic which is sweet. So I don't think I'll have enough for weakness, but weakness is not essential. I mean weakness is just an option unless you're like gonna completely go ham with PvP. Um because cool. we Yeah, weakness is only good for PvP. And plus it's not foolproof because they can just um they can just like cleanse it or whatever. Um uh, so yeah. Um, one thing that I I, I kind of made a list of this. Um, kind of step eleven, which is also optional. Um, because there's 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 pretty much just eight steps, and then that's it. Um, step nine, ten, and eleven are optional. Step nine, men. Step ten, uh, weakness. Step eleven. Um, there have been some talk. There has been some talk about new shadow spells or even light spells, like for a light school. Um. Uh, for Crystallis Part Two, just to be safe, I would save some. I would save some training points for that. There's no guarantee there might, there's going to be new spells. I mean, it was pretty big with Part One, you know, releasing new spells. You know, Kings I might be like, okay, you know, it's pretty big. They can handle, you know, not getting any spells for Part Two. But you never know. Crystal. I mean, Kings Isle is very unpredictable. Um, I mean, the most. I mean, especially with the whole, um, the whole glowing mushroom and uh, tomato basket thing. Remember that? Yeah. I got so scared because I, I, I mean, I admit, I, I spammed, I spammed the mushroom a little bit, not that much, not as much as like, uh, Wolfcraft MC. I heard he got, um, he got uh, temporary banned. Some people and got muted. Huh? He got muted too. Like forever? Yeah. No, he didn't. Mhm. Mm no, he didn't. No, he still talks. No, he's mute. How? Why did he get muted? I don't know. Oh, that's weird. I don't know that. Maybe, they, maybe they. You, you, you sure that they, they? Was that before or after they did the review of it? No, oh, but he's muted. Oh, that's sad. Um, I didn't know that. But you actually, you actually knew about the mushroom. Dude, of course I knew. I know about it. You didn't know about it? Nope. The only way I knew about it, well, I mean, I, I knew about it, like, I, I collected it from my house a few times, but I never thought of, like, the whole, like, selling thing. I mean, you don't get that much gold for it. I mean, it's kind of a waste of time, but I mean, yeah, I mean, the only reason I started farming it was right after Blue's video, and then that's, exa that's like, it was kind of weird because right after Blue's video is when they, um, they took a look at it, and they're like, oh my gosh, look at how many people, how many times people have been collecting this, and like, some people who got permabanned were changed to temporary. Some people who got permabanned were cu were kept permabanned, um, and then some people who were temporary banned were kept temporary. And then some people who were temporary were just they just took that off entirely because they thought they overreacted a little bit. Um, but yeah, back to training points. Um, steps one through eight. Uh, well, come to think of it, it really is ten steps because. Um, I'll probably put this in the description below. Step one is to buy back your training points. Step two is to train Seder. I know, wait, wait. Step one is to buy back your training points. Step two is to train Elemental Blade. Step three is to train Seder. Step four is to buy the Life Master Amulet. Step five is to train Faint. Step six um, is Tower Shield. Step seven is Amplify. Step eight is uh, Colossal. Step nine is um, as, um, Azteca Astrals, and then step ten is Shadow Magic. Um, and then there's there's eleven, twelve, thirteen, which is Mend, Weakness, and then maybe you know maybe you know Conspiracy Light spells. Um, uh, you know, w which is all optional. Well, maybe the Light thing won't, won't be optional, but for for now it is. I mean, if whether you want to save up for not or anything. But like and subscribe if this helped you a little bit in, tra um, in spending your training points. I know it. I really. I know it helped me. Um, I got a big load of crowns last year, and um, what I did was um, I bought a bunch of mounts and like. But the main thing I did was buy back my training points, and I um, I trained Seder and I like bought a life master amulet and it helped so much. It really did, and it's really worth it if if you plan on. Considering, like, well, I can make it through. I mean, I hate to sound like stuck up high level. We'll just be like, no, you know, you gotta, you gotta work the system, uh, Galen. Um, but <laughs> you really, 
I mean, it's. Re I mean, you can, but you would really need some partners to do it with you if you really. There's no way you can get to the end of the game with going just random style, but um, but you can maybe get through Mushu with the random style. I mean, but anything past Mushu, you really can't. I mean, because Dragon Spire for the final battle, you really need heals and stuff. Treasure cards work for the most part, but not really. I mean, it's just, it, it helps. It helps so much. It's just, the struggle is real. It's just, it's worse without um, the training point uh, logic. So yeah, that's my training point video on how to spend your training points. And this eggnog wizard is out. <laughs>